Good afternoon everyone, Country Flyboy here, and today, taxi and run up with the Milvis Cessna 310. Alright, so it's another day, um, I wasn't able to record taxi directly after the last video, uh, and I, so I uh, had to do it on a different day. Uh, oh well, it'll be alright. Um, so real quick, we've just taxied the plane out of the hangar area, and we uh, are ready to depart Brunswick Golden Isles for our training flight today. Okay, so we got a taxi and do the run-up, since this is the first flight of the day. Um, real quick, we'll run through the before taxi checklist. Normally, you would do this uh, before you move the plane first, so we would have done it back there in the hangar area. We may have did it in the last video, I can't remember. But um, real quick, we'll show the passenger briefing completed, avionics are on, wing flaps are up. Lights as required, beacon light is on right now, but that's and the landing lights are out, but not on cabin temperature, set, uh, brakes released, release the brakes. Okay, now the um, taxi checks, uh, we'll take runway 7 for departure, and we'll announce Golden taxi. Traffic, Cessna, November 310, Bravo, Victor is taxiing to runway 7. Okay, so to taxi, we give it just a little bit of throttle to get it going, and once it gets moving, can throttle back to idle. Alright, we'll take Alpha, which parallels the runway. It'll be a left to get to runway 7. Alright, so as we make a left turn here, we want to check our instruments. In particular, turn, heading, uh, and the ADF down here. We want to check and make sure that they both turn in the right direction, all three of them. So as we start the left turn, they are turning in the right direction. Turn coordinator banks to the left, and the ball goes to the right. And that is correct. Okay, all those instruments are working as they should. Brakes check real quick. My brakes are working. And the flight instruments, uh, we check to make sure altimeter is aligned, airspeed, uh, we hope to God that's working, and attitude looks good. Vertical speed says zero, as it should. All right, we'd uh, get in the run-up area right over here. I'm going to uh, put the plane in the run-up area uh, I'm going to stay as close to the ground as I can. I might even put my wheels into the dirt. Just because this airport does have airline services. A CRJ200 um, comes here about two to three times a day. I haven't seen him today. Uh, and I don't know what time he operates. He may have already come and gone. Alrighty. Okay, we're going to put the left main in the dirt as we turn around. And we'll just come to a stop right here. That way, any airplanes that come out have plenty of room... They ain't got to worry about hitting us. Alrighty. Winds are calm right now. That was taxi checks complete. So at this point, we would do the before takeoff check. So, brakes are set. Engine run up. We're going to set the throttle to 1700 RPM. That's the bottom gauge right here. Uh, a little too much. Get both engines indicating 1700 RPM right there. Uh, we're going to do an alternator check. This knob here, we'll left click it twice. Make sure we have a charge on the alternator. It should be indicating just above zero. As you can see, it's indicating about 7 volts and about 2 amps probably. So both left and right alternator are working. Good there. Uh, vacuum. Look over here at the vacuum gauge. It should be indicating at least 4.75, but no more than 5.25. And uh, yep, suction indicates about 5.2, probably about 5.1 right there, so vac is good. Magneto's check. Alrighty. Now, before I do the mags check, there is a bit of a bug I need to talk about with the Milviz 310. Uh, the Mil Milviz has a bit of a bug. There is a Learjet coming out. Uh, he should have plenty of room. Should have to hit us. Anyway, there's a bit of a bug with the uh, Milviz 310 in that uh, it's Magneto's can malfunction during the check. So... 
when you um, click to check the magnetos, make sure you keep your mouse pointer over that switch because sometimes it can actually kill the engine altogether and we want to be able to turn that magneto back on quickly. All right, so left engine, left mag. Got a slight drop. Left engine, right mag. Slight drop. Right engine, left mag. Slight drop. Right engine, right mag. Slight drop. Okay, we didn't have that bug this time. Here comes that Learjet. We had a good drop on both of them. It meets the requirements. Props check. Okay, what we want to do here, we want to bring the props back till we see a drop in RPM. As soon as we see that drop in RPM, hit Control F4 or move your prop all the way back up. You don't want to lock your props up. That can be bad. Wave high to the Learjet. He's a VFR Learjet. How about that? All right. Now, next is the governor check. Now, to do the governor check, we're going to advance the throttle up to... Let's see. Governor check. Retard prop condition levers until noting a slight drop in RPM. Then advance throttles to check for no increases in RPM. So, what I like to do is set it to 15 on the manifold pressure. We're going to bring the props back slowly until we notice a slight drop on RPM. Remember, manifold pressure is the top gauge, RPM is the bottom gauge. So we set 15 here, and we look for a slight drop here as we bring the props back. Right there, they've dropped a little bit. Now I'm going to increase the throttle to 20. So 20 on the manifold pressure, we should see no, little to no rise in the RPM. There goes that Learjet. So the RPM did not rise when we increased the throttle. So the governor is working. We're going to bring these back to 15. Reset the props back to full. And then bring the engine back to idle. Alright, so that was the engine run up. Next we want to check fuel quantity. We did this earlier, but we'll check it again here. Indicating full on both the main and the aux tanks. Fuel selector, we've already uh, checked, and they're both on the main tanks. Alternate air controls in, cow flaps locked full open. We've talked about the cow flaps. They should be full open at almost all times on this airplane. Remember, these cow flaps, most airplanes have you um, closing these once you hit cruise or opening them just halfway. This airplane has internal cow flaps, meaning the cow flaps are literally inside the engine cowling so they don't produce that much drag and you can actually leave them full open at all phases of flight uh, the only time you have to close them is on descent so cow flap slot full open trim tabs set elevator aileron and rudder trim in the takeoff position okay so nose trim to takeoff roll trim neutral uh, and now rudder trim rudder trim nose left right right here Remember what I said about the engines? The engines here do not have counter-rotating props. Both engines spin in the same direction. What that means is we have a lot of torque and P-factor on takeoff. So we could be helped out by giving this a little nose-right trim. Uh, just a little bit. Mount 6%, 6 degrees. Uh, roughly one turn of the mouse wheel. Um, one click on your mouse wheel is a, a degree, roughly. So, not a lot, just a little bit. One, two, three, four, five turns. Should do it. Okay, wing flaps are up. We have a nice, long runway here. 8,000 feet, so we don't need the flaps for takeoff. Golden mile traffic. Flight Bombardier instruments. November 4, 9, 7, 3, 6, 2, 5 miles west inbound. ILS runway 7. One airplane inbound on the ILS. Okay. Flight instruments and avionics. This is where you would set up your. 
this is where you're gonna you would set up your instruments and you do your last check to make sure everything is good before you take off as far as your instruments are concerned real quick I'm going to set direct Kilo Alpha Yankee Sierra Alpha Yankee Sierra Kilo Alpha Yankee Sierra. That'll send us direct to Waycross, which is where we want to go. So we're doing a short hop over to Waycross. All warning lights are clear. Cabin doors and windows closed and locked. The seal is inflated. I'll go ahead and shut the window so I don't forget it later. Warning lights out. Ox fuel pumps on. We're going to flip these down to low. Flight controls check. Bank full left. Left aileron goes up. Right aileron goes down. Bank full right. Right aileron goes up. Left aileron goes down. Pull back. Pull forward. Rudder left. Rudder right. So you're checking to make sure all the ailerons and the uh, all the flight controls move in the correct direction and you have full deflection available for them. Ice protection not required. Um, if we needed ice protection for takeoff, we would flip on actuate, prop, pedo heat, and de ice, de -ice light. But we don't need them for this takeoff. Seatbelt harness secure and brakes release. All right, before we release the brakes, we got to go through the takeoff checklist. All right, so for the takeoff checklist, um, there are two of them. There is normal takeoff and maximum performance takeoff. So, which one do you pick? Well, nice long runway today, we can do the normal takeoff. So we can do normal takeoff today. Um, for short field, soft field takeoffs, you do the maximum performance takeoff checklist, but we'll cover those in the takeoff video. Uh, so that actually does it for engine run-up, uh, taxi out. So hope you enjoyed it, and we will see you next time on the takeoff.